What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, bringing you software engineering by example. So, welcome to the seventh episode. Yes, seventh episode of JavaScript by example on level one. And I think I will make this the final episode, unless you guys want to continue this. But we need to start level two two very soon coolish stuff are coming very coolish stuff are coming right i want to build a game on level two so that's why i want to end that and you're gonna have you can feel free to go nuts on the comment section ask me question if you want to resume this is not the end of the world we can always resume and make this app much much more cool but yeah, I'm going to try to add as much as so this is going to be a long episode. I'm going to add as much as stuff as I want in this and kind of just move on to do the next thing. How about that? All right. So what do we want to do? I'm going to convert this into an actual text box where we actually can type stuff there. That would be cool. Very cool. Right. And once we type, we can actually... Uh, make really cool stuff once we can type right I'll remove that I'll remove that right percentage it's not really useful for us because uh, yeah we, we can keep it I don't know okay but I'll replace those with parentheses and I'll make this into a tick box let's get started so our puppy here where is it we're building this, right? We've been building that. Where is the result? The first line is actually the result, and it's it's just it's just what it is, right? It's just we're using the column itself, but we want to introduce uh, we want to introduce a new element in this. Uh, actually, this is the my might, might be the first element we introduce here beside. We didn't even introduce buttons, did we? Yeah, we didn't have to introduce buttons. But yeah, what we have here is a bunch of columns, but we want to add a control that, and that control is called text box, where you actually can type stuff in and interact with it. So it's really cool. So let's, um, let's, let's do that. How about that? Let's just go, do that. Okay, so between these columns, we're gonna do a new element, and that element is called input. The type of that element is called text box. I think it's called text box like that. And just let's test that theory real quick. Yep, it works. That's the text box right there. Okay. Now we need to give the same ID that we give to the column to this because that's where we're going to write and slam stuff there, right? That's the second second thing we're going to do. Uh, perhaps we're going to give it a nice width as well. Width is equal 30. Mm, 200 pixels. I still don't know, so let's, let's just check. 200. Two hundred sounds good, right? Two hundred sounds great. Okay. Now we'll see if our application actually works. <laughs> Obviously not, because the whole thing now changed, right? Because this is now. Uh, let's make this a little prettier. How about that? Yeah. So now. We, we were introduced that when I want to put a value or read a value from a column, we were using text content. Remember that? I think this changes when, when you're working with, with an actual textbook. So the value is actually called value. So let's put the default value as zero here. And now I can I'm seeing a zero. That is cool. That is nice. All right. That is very nice. And now, 
let's see what we need to change here, man. The print symbol, and instead of with text content, we have to replace it with value, right? And print digit, we gotta replace the result. We can keep that. That's they didn't change. We didn't change that object. We only changed the results, right? So anything that says uh, text content, we change it to value, and hopefully that does the trick. Nine plus nine minus one minus six 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 six. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to basically make this fixed size so we don't actually make the calculator the calculator doesn't get fat as we write things and clear oh clear doesn't work because we didn't fix that where's clear clear says click text content that changed to value what else man what are we doing here evaluating the actual evaluating obviously that changes to value sorry I'm blocking the screen here but yeah nothing nothing fancy all good is all good look at that looking good guys looking good let's refresh that 9 times 6 is equal to 54 I think that's right that's about right we need to change these puppies into parentheses and close and open right where is this man Sub plus multi decimal clear equal. What do we do, man? So plus and equal, or plus and minus. What is that? Percentage. So this changes to. Whoop! I wanted to change this to this and make that right P, right parentheses, and this becomes. Boop left parenthesis so left p all right refresh nice but they don't do anything because we didn't actually inject any code so how about injecting some code in this yeah right beep, 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 beep. let write p is equal document or get element by id write p that's what we called it right paste left p and then we're gonna add event listener left p dot add event listener click what do we execute print symbol right it's just a symbol and then right p right p also the same thing, print symbol. Ooh, nice, nice, times one plus six. So the value is, this will get executed first, so seven times nine, right, 63. Nine plus, can I do that? Seven plus three so that's gonna be 18 all right that is actually cool we finally build a full-fledged calculator and guess what guys you can actually type in here so 999 plus 1 divided by uh, a thousand is equal to 1 uh oh 999 plus 1 divided by a thousand so we need to execute these first now this is equal to 1 Ooh. so the order of the parentheses really matter here right so 999 plus 1 divided by thousand that gives you this will execute first if you don't uh, this will execute first and then add that. So if you want to execute these guys first, you have to add parentheses, right? And then you so equal, then you do it plus six times nine plus two plus two equal and 
just like that, we completed our calculator. So that's a full-fledged calculator. All right, guys. So feel free to write in the comments below what do you want to see next in this. Ooh, I want to knock out the bottle here. Just, just a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So tell me what do you want to see in this application. So there's the, the certain code that we written here. We can enhance it. We can simplify it. But I think it's good to stop here and start moving into a level two and start learning more and more uh, new functionality of JavaScript while building an actual more interesting things like a, a, we're gonna build a game alien invader and then level two so that would be I think that would be exciting so uh, for you guys if you still want to continue working on this feel free to do so this is the source code you can change it you can play with it there are a lot of things that we can this is not an optimal code but it does the job so you can you can always change it make it more better looks better change, give give change the variable names right do things that you feel you feel more comfortable with the code right you don't have to use the same exact names that I'm using here you can change change it to do whatever you want right as long as you stay consistent obviously and we're gonna in the next episode we're going to introduce CSS, clean this up, right? So there's a lot of things we can. We might actually make an eighth episode if you guys really requested it. Just write down in the comments if you really want another episode. We can like do a code cleanup. I can. I have. I have a lot of things to do, right? We can. I have a lot of ideas. But yeah, that concludes our calculator, guys. You guys have to be proud of yourselves. You built a full-fledged app and learned a language at the same time. All right, guys, you stay awesome. Subscribe to iGeometry, where you learn software engineering by example, by actually building something, right? Stay awesome. Hey, guys, I just want to show you that the app has been that have been we have been working on for for seven episodes actually work on your mobile device. So you just visit that page, and since JavaScript is a native language and works on any mobile device, it actually works. How about that? Let's quick equal equal. Ooh, yeah, yeah, works just fine. Just need to zoom in a bit here, but yep, cool stuff. Go build something cool right now with your knowledge, right? And show us, show us. All right, guys, stay awesome. Go build something cool today.